So it uh, it just occurred to me, uh, it being Friday, that there was no Friday fun video today, no no Q and A, and it only occurred to me right now. I, j I just managed to get the kids into bed, and so it's uh, been the end of a long day. Sabrina is out, still out, uh, out again, um, and so today wasn't an opportunity for her to come in, and so she's sorry that she wasn't able to do a Friday fun Q and A video for you. But we are going to do one. My goal. My hope is that it's going to be uh, Saturday, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, but I apologize for the three of you who are eagerly anticipating a Friday fun video uh, it, that I completely spaced being able to do one today. But it, it will happen. There are lots of questions, and some of them are very interesting and, and involved and will require lots of answers. Others are more straightforward and will be simpler. And uh, I don't know if that's about it. Um, I'm trying to think of any watch-related stuff besides this. I've been wearing this watch a lot. My A306-1000. I, uh, I, I reloomed and rebuilt this watch. and I'm actually pretty pleased with it. One thing that I didn't like about it is that it had a flush-mounted crown. Like the crown, it didn't have a crown that stuck out like that. And it made it extremely hard to, um, made it extremely hard to wind. And, which is kind of a, pain in the butt. I mean, you have a hand a watch that's capable of hand winding with a crown that's flush, that's hidden, and you can't wind anything with it. So I dug through all my crap and I found a bigger crown, an original new old stock Seiko crown, probably from the 60s, and, uh, and that sticks a little further. So that works a little nicer now. Isn't that a beautiful watch? This crazy periwinkle blue. These are really cool. They were like... I, there, I think I own three different variants of this minimum, three different sizes, like small, medium, large, Goldilocks kind of thing. And I, I have all three, but this is the nicest one I've got. So maybe I'll talk about this more, talk about the 8306, because I also want to talk about the 8305 movement. Apparently it's a crown at four, and I could apparently potentially put it in a 6,000 case. I also discovered that the, uh, oh, what, what was the movement of it? I also discovered, because uh, I was fooling around, that the 5-2 series, like 5-2-4-6 and stuff like that, those movements uh, will also drop right into a 6,000 case, so like a like a 6105. And again, those are hand-winding, and they're high-beat, and they're automatic. So that's something I'm considering. That would be, that would be pretty wacky, don't you think? Having a high-beat movement hand winding and automatic in a 6105 case. That's a, something pretty neat to think about. So that's something we'll talk about maybe this week, this coming weekend. But when we get Sabrina back and uh, everything's cool, we will, uh, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, we'll do the Q and A and I'm sorry for f uh, failing to get that done today. I had actually, I had considered it, but then all this other stuff went on and it's just the way things go. Okay. Thank you so much. And sorry for them. Related video. Okay, we'll talk to you later.